Hi Aries, I'm Brenda and I'm here today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Angel Oracle readings for the month of September 2018. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, and sharing these videos. As you know, this is strictly a general reading, but if you'd like clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, I welcome you to go up there and press that button and it will take you to my website where you can see the services that I offer and how to either schedule a private reading with me or a Reiki healing session with me. Okay, Aries, let's get on with the exciting month of September. The beginning of the first week of September, Aries, you've been given a fire card, and this is the nine of fire. Fire cards have to do with uh, creating things for our own personal self-development, standing up for our own selves, being being who we truly are and living in our own truth. But along the way, we develop and we learn things and, and all kinds of uh, situations come into our life that determine how we do this. So basically, some of you I do see are dealing with challenging situations. And it may have to do with personal issues uh, in your life, like uh, you know a relationship with someone close to you or a partner. It could have to deal with could have to do with dealing with people you work with. Also, it could have to do with dealing with legal situations that you're being confronted with and you're having to uh, defend yourself and stand up for yourself. And basically, it shows me that some of you have had these particular types of incidents and situations around you. The energy shows me as of late that you've had this. This is still going to continue uh, uh, throughout probably uh, throughout the month uh, of September. So please know that you need to stand up for yourself and don't give up. Don't give up on what you've created. Don't give up on who you are. Maybe some of you it has to do with patenting. It has to do with having created something uh, you know that might have been technical, a piece of technology. It may be something that you've created <coughs> with a job, with, with being out on the internet, with, uh, with doing things on the computer, with your job itself, and you may have created something, and you need to protect that. So what I'm saying is if some of you have actually created something new out there that you could profit on and br it will bring you in a lot of uh, financial abundance, then you need to know you need to see, the, see, see who you need to see, lawyers and such, and advisors to help you protect that and patent it. And these all these things take time. But you don't want someone else coming in and stealing your ideas, stealing your dreams, stealing what you actually created. Don't also I see um, that some of you are allowing um, the energy of other people to come around you that perhaps are um, they may be a little bit envious, okay? They just showed me them wearing a lot of green. Uh, they may be a little bit envious of who you are, what you've done, and what you're achieving, and uh, how uh, you're coming out of a situation. Um, you know, some people out there, they want to rain on your parade. Don't let them do that, okay? There's, that's their problem, not yours. So walk away from that type of energy if it starts to come in in the form of other people around you. Uh, you need to protect what you've created. It, yeah, it takes courage. Sometimes when you want to give up on a situation because there's so much coming at you at once, uh, it can become overwhelming, but don't let it, okay? Protect what you've created, and you need to continue to believe in yourself. Stay positive. Believe in yourself that the outcome is going to be uh, for your greater good. The outcome is going to be in your favor, and that's the way you should be looking at this situation. What you have been doing this last uh, while uh, and possibly months uh, has brought you to where you are now and you're and people are going to see that you have integrity people are going to see uh, that you uh, you are who you are and you're going to stand up for that in the middle of the first week Aries you've been given another fire card and this is the queen of fire now this shows me that you have develop this courage okay you're starting to get braver now you're starting to uh, take a deep breath and say you know what you know what to hell with them I know what I've done I know who I am and if they can't handle that that's too bad or if they're a little bit envious of what I've done they, they can just keep walking on their own life path so basically this is going to allow you by 
freeing yourself up, believing in yourself, being courageous, standing up for who you are, and showing people that you're credible, and you are truthful, and you're living in your truth, you're going to be able to stretch your wings and fly. Now, I do see some of you, you're going to go off solo. You're going to be stepping out when all this is said and done by yourself. You're going to be leaving the situation that you've been around because it's not bringing you to your greater good or this is all about your personal self-development with fire cards. As I said in the beginning, you may have to go places you normally wouldn't think you were ever going to go, it, you know, looking into your future or taking risks you thought you would never take or do the things you thought you would never do. But all of it now, you're opening up to see where it is you truly want to go. And for some of you, it's going to be leaving and going on your own and going solo. So don't lose your confidence. Stay brave. Stay, uh, stay true to who yourself. Continue to stop underestimating yourself. Don't underestimate yourself, okay? Don't lose your, your, um, your ability and, and your strength within to do this. I do see when some of you leave, uh, those of you that go out on your own solo and leave the situation that you've been surrounded with so long, it's going to bring you incredible independence and it's going to allow you to personally show your own creativity. So Aries, be brave. Don't let other people blow out your light or blow your candle out or dim your light. Don't allow others negative energy to take over you and where it is you want to go. Don't let that discourage you. Keep going. Protect what you've created. Now, it's a pretty, it was a pretty intense first week of, of September Aries, but that's okay because it's showing me that at the, with this Queen of Fire, you're going to be able to stretch your wings when all this is over and you're going to be okay with it. But this is what the, the oracle message that's come in for you is this. How ironic you have been given bold. So see again, unleash your adventurous side. Take risks and be daring, okay? Don't allow others to dim your light. Stand up, be strong, be bold, and, and, and you know, you'll get through this. You'll get through this because the first card showed me you were losing your confidence, you were discouraged, you were feeling uh, down and allowing all that negative energy uh, coming into you to overtake you, okay? Then, as you know, the week went on and as time moved on, you realized that, you know what, I'm going to stand up for who I am. I'm going to protect what I've created. I'm going to show them that I'm credible and have integrity. And that allows you to stay independent and fly on your own solo and spread your wings. It talks about being bold. It, you know, it talks about being brave. It talks about taking those risks and going places you normally wouldn't go. That's what the fire cards are about, my friend. Now, the beginning of the second week of September, you've been given an air card. And this is the four of air. Now, air cards often have to do with having to make fair and just decisions and choices that are determined around other people's energy. So it seems to be with Aries for the month of September, that's what you're going to be uh, surrounding yourself with. That energy, uh, that's the energy that's going to be surrounding you, rather. So often air cards have to do with le dealing with legal issues and attorneys and courts and so on. This is telling me that you know, you're exhausted. And after this is all said and done with these air cards that you're going to be able to, to go away and take a vacation or you're going to be leaving again on your own solo, going somewhere uh, to where you can catch your breath, uh, reflect and move forward on your path in a new direction. But I do see there's a decision that has to be made uh, that you're dealing with right now. And right now they're telling me it's not good timing. You're, it, you're not going to be able to make this decision right now. They need, you need to allow more time to make a decision that's going on. Perhaps it's the, the decision where you want to run away and take a vacation. And right now you don't, might not have the time, the effort, or the resources uh, to do this. So it's not the right time to do that. So, it, you know, escapism is wonderful, but it's very short-lived. It gives us a quick fix, but then we have to still get back into the real physical world and face the music, so to say. So I do see that, you know, some of you may have to bring yourself to the silence, bring that peace into yourself. And I tell people, if you go within, you'll never go without. So go within, go to meditation, go within, go whatever it is, wherever you want to go, whether it's out in nature, whether it, you know, it's in a safe room in your home, whether it's in your garden by the seaside, 
Uh, some people just find peace getting into their car and, and shutting the doors where it's quiet. And wherever that place is, Aries, that you need to take yourself, do it. By all means, do it. And sit there and reflect in meditation. Put your music on. Light your candles. Uh, you know, put the salts in the bath. Whatever way you take yourself to that place of peace where you can do reflection and ask and think. So meditation brings us the greatest peace. And it doesn't have to be an hour, a half hour. It could be just minutes where you leave your troubles behind. So please know that the four of air, that, you know, your guides are telling you right now, they're aware of the struggles that you've been going through, the stresses that you've been going through. Um, and there is a decision they say that you, you, you are going to have to make, but don't rush into it, okay? You need to sit, reflect, and think about that. That's where that meditation comes in, before you make that decision. In the middle Aries of the second week of September, you've been given another fire card, another personal self-development card, and this is the fire of fire. And it tells me that you're still going to be dealing with some of this energy going into the second week where people have uh, are going to be picking at you and probing at you and asking you questions and coming at you from all angles. But please know that some of these people, uh, you know, that bring in this kind of bothersome energy, uh, and details often have competing goals. They have the same goals that you do, and uh, or they may do the same thing that you do. And so they're going to create a little conflict. So there may be some uh, friction going on with some people around you uh, in the middle of the second week as well. Uh, but stick to your guns, as, as I said in the first week. Stick to your guns. You're honest and, you know, um, you need to stand up for yourself. Please know that they have the same competing goals. They and again, they, they you know they show me they're wearing green. That's a that's that's the color of envy and jealousy. So uh, don't allow that their energy to um, take over you. That's their energy, not yours. Now, for your oracle card for the end of the second week, you got leap of faith. So take. A risk and put your heart's true desire into motion okay so again you had bold the first week uh, this week it's take that leap okay after that that second that third fire card in your second week all about personal self-development and I've said that places you normally wouldn't go risks you normally wouldn't take take the leap of faith okay go for it finally make up finally do something for yourself Aries after all these uh, situations and, and uh, you know, challenges that you've had to deal with, take that leap of faith and do something for yourself. Take that risk, put your, put your heart's desire into action and realize that, you know what, this is your life path, yours to walk the way you want. And happiness is a choice. Happiness is a choice we can all make. The beginning of your third week of August, you've been given a major card and you've been given balance. So this only makes sense. I mean, everything that some of you Aries have been dealing with, uh, you need to balance. You need to do things in moderation. So this is basically about you not, I mean, take the leap of faith, but do your homework before you do it. Make sure it's what you want to do. Okay, but uh, don't, and do it in moderation. Don't jump into the quicksand and then say, oh my God, how am I going to swim my way out of this? I'm, I'm sinking. Now, with some of these situations, Aries, that you're going to be dealing with in, in September, you're going to have to realize that the words that come up are moderation, compromise, and cooperation. Okay, so you're going to be looking at making decisions and choices in your life that, yes, you're going to be looking at the whole picture and everybody else is going to be involved in this with you. But um, when you make your moves and when you make your decision, wait for the perfect timing. You'll know when it's going to happen. Everything in our life has to do with the perfect timing. And often we get so disappointed when things don't come up. We don't get the job we wanted. We don't have the perfect relationship we wanted. We, you know, I can go on and on and on. But what it has to do is perfect timing. And I tell people this all the time. The reason that you're, you, this didn't come in is because something better is on the horizon. And I know at the time when people are so down and so disappointed at that moment in time, they can't see beyond the disappointment. But you have to, okay? Wipe that window pane clean. Get rid of that fog that you're trying to look through. See the whole clear picture. So 
it has to do with timing okay the perfect timing is when you're going to be able to make your move you're going to be able to go out solo you're going to be able to do what it is you want to do okay so but in the course you're going to have to cooperate okay with others when you do this there's going to be some compromises we you may not get a hundred percent of what you wanted but look at the whole picture and say well you know what i got this and this and this i'm happy with that okay and moderation Okay, do everything in moderation. Don't jump in and do anything too, uh, uh, too sudden at this time. Now, you've been given another air card, uh, which is a three of air uh, for the middle of the third week of September. And again, as I said, it has to do with dealing with challenges and fair and just decisions and choices. And sometimes that involves legal issues and there may be separations, parting of ways, uh, settlements. Uh, you know, um, remember, compromise. Okay, remember cooperation. Okay, remember moderation came up just before this card. Um, it, it does show me that some of you are going to feel some sadness. Some of you are going to look back and reflect, and there will be some regrets. There will be some sad, sad thoughts. Um, but you know what? Um, the, what's going to heal you through this is forgiveness. Okay, forgiveness of what's happened. Uh, whether it was forgiving yourself or allowing uh, something to come into you. Perhaps you jumped in too soon and you didn't see the whole picture and then this energy came into you that you hadn't, you just couldn't foresee it coming in. And, you know, don't beat yourself up, okay? Uh, just look at the, the situation. If, if you feel that you uh, enabled some of this to come into your life, uh, look at the whole picture and take it as a lesson and just say, well, for whatever reason, the universe was teaching me something here, and now I've learned that lesson, and it's not going to happen again. Um, and, he, and also forgiving other people. You need to take time. We just don't always, you know, just jump in and say, well, the universe says, and, you know, my angels and guides say that right now I should forgive all my enemies. It takes time. It takes time to heal, and eventually you'll be able to do that. And take a deep breath. And once you do that, okay, you're going to be able to move forward again. So know that things will get better. Know that things will get improved. I do see some of you are, you know, reflecting back on what's happened and you're feeling kind of down and out. So please take time to heal. Forgive yourself if, if you were part of this enabling this energy to come in and this incident and situation. Let it go. You learned the lesson. So we all learn them. We all get these moments in our lives. Forgiveness is a big word, my friend. Now, at the end of the third week, you've been given this oracle message, and it is inner wisdom. So you know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. Well, that's, you know what? There you go. Uh, most of this, uh, this first three weeks of September have talked about that, definitely. So, you know, about being bold and taking those leaps of faith and dealing with those situations that may have been legal in your life or, you know, challenging situations, dealing with situations and people, could have to do with your job, people around you, and so on, you need to tap into your own intuition, okay? Tap into your own inner wisdom. And innate, innately, you do know what you need to do, okay? And that's what you need to do for the better of the situation and for your greater good. So do it. Uh, take action and don't wait around for it, okay? Once the smoke clears and the dust settles and it's over, then you need to make your move and do what's right for you. Well, you know I don't like this card in the deck, and this is the ego, or better known as the devil in the regular tarot. And this is all about allowing negative energy to come in and take over like you're a sea sponge and, you know, you drink it all in um, because it gives you a false sense of negative thoughts, okay? When we allow negative thoughts to overtake us, we can't see anything positive around us. We get down, we get out, down and out, and we get depressed, and we feel back up against the wall, and we feel trapped. So please know it's a false sense of entrapment, okay? Uh, it's allowing all that negative energy to take over us, and we have to step back. Like I said, step back, take a deep breath, and look at the whole picture. Um, it's being focused on material things. Don't allow material things to give you that uh, gratification, which is instantaneous. And then later on, you, you, you look back and say, oh, 
why did I spend that money on that? Or why did I do this? I mean, I have the worst hangover, or I don't feel well, or I pushed myself too far, or why did I say yes when I should have said no? All those things come back to you. And at the time, we, you think it's, oh, it's going to make me feel better. Yeah, instantaneously it will, but later on down the road, we do start to reflect and regret that we did those crazy things when we allow that false sense of entrapment to come over us. So please know you've got to let go of these things, okay? So don't allow those thoughts to uh, to take over uh, your, your well-being. Let go of them. Walk away. Push that negative energy away from you and uh, don't allow it to take over you. Well, this is a pretty good card after that one. You got release, okay? So it's all about the end of a phase. Things are starting now to change. By the end of September, things will start to improve. Uh, there may be a little residual of it going into October, but I do see September will wind down. And as, as challenging as it started in the beginning for you, Aries, as September goes on, things will quiet down and get better. So it is the end of a phase or a situation. And when it happens, you will be doing an awful lot of reflection. You will be looking back and saying, wow, I made it. I got through this. I got through the storm. Um, you know, I'm, I'm okay. Uh, I have to now heal myself and learn to forgive and move forward. Uh, and it will be time to move on. I do see some of you will be moving on in a new direction. Uh, some of you will be leaving a situation or a relationship or a job or something like that, an event you've been involved in, and it'll be over. It could just be the challenging situation that you've been in the middle of, that now that it's over, it's gone. So please know that releasing is letting go of things that don't serve you anymore. It's letting go of that situation. Some of you, it can be uh, relationship transitions, and sometimes that's sad, but please know, uh, sometimes it's a relief, but please know that if you're dealing with that, and uh, you, you feel a bit overwhelmed or alone uh, with this, know that there will be uh, you know, friends and family that are going to support you and be there for you at the end of the day. Now the very final card for the month of September, Aries. You've been given receptivity. And that says, allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. So, I, how ironic that came up. I just said to you, you're going to have friends and family members that are going to be there to give you support and help and love uh, and keep you lifted up. So, accept it. Don't be so proud that you don't think that you don't need help or a, a hug or a kind word or uh, some of you, it may be financial help. Take it, okay? Don't be too proud. Allow yourself to receive. When we allow to receive, we are able to give back in return. And it doesn't have to be, you know, a physical thing. What it is, is gratitude, it's gratefulness, it's love, it's compassion, it's all those things that we show and appreciation when people do come in and they enfold us with their positive vibes and their love to support you. Well, Aries, that's it. I wish you a great September. I know there's going to be some challenges for some of you, but also you know this is a general reading. If you want a private reading with me to tap into any of these situations, if they resonate with your life, uh, some of them will and some of them may not, then you know where to go. You can check me out and I would be glad to give you a private reading. I wish you a wonderful remainder to the summer. Looking forward to September being a beautiful, beautiful beginning of our fall season. And I'll see you again soon. Know that I continue to stand in that circle of light for you, my friend.